Zhou Shan Islands, which comprise over 1,300 islets in the East China Sea, is a realm of dreams. Looking below the water's shimmering surface, we see that the islands are in fact a collection of mountains connected with the mainland, their fates intertwined. As the tide of time shifts, the sea surges and these peaks are transformed into islands beginning Zhou Shan's long, solitary era as an archipelago. The islands gaze across the expanse at one another, accessible only by boat. The Zhou Shan Cross Sea Bridge officially opened to traffic on December 25, 2009. The day marked the start of a new era for Zhou Shan. Now the islands were no longer separate, but instead connected by a network of crossings. The Zhou Shan Cross Sea Bridge spans four islands, crosses nine culverts, and passes through two tunnels, linking Zhou Shan with the coastal city of Ningbo in Zhejiang province. Stretching almost 50 kilometers, it's the world's largest engineering project connecting the mainland with a group of islands. It has changed Zhou Shan from an isolated archipelago into a peninsula. The crossing is made up of five bridges, including twin tower cable stayed structures such as the Jintang Bridge and Taoyaoman Bridge, as well as the roads that connect them. The Tsunggang and Xiangjiaoman Bridges are both continuous girder structures, while the Shihoman Bridge, which spans the Shihoman Channel, is a suspension bridge. Stretching 1,650 meters, the Shihoman Bridge was the longest suspension bridge in China upon its completion. It also marked the first time this kind of structure had been attempted in China in a region frequently affected by typhoons. Wind causes vibrations in bridge structures. This was the scene in 1940, when the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in the United States was hit by a Force 8 gale. Its deck dances in the wind, undulating like waves, ultimately resulting in its collapse into the sea. The main span of the Shihoman Suspension Bridge is nearly twice the length of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. One of the biggest challenges for engineers is to make sure it remains stable during extreme weather conditions. The hollow girder acts like a ladder, allowing wind to flow softly through. This ingenious design, which showcases the beauty of geometric mechanics, means the bridge can withstand super typhoons of up to level 17. Once on the periphery of land logistics, Zhou Shan is now a hub for regional transportation thanks to the Cross Sea Bridge and this network of crossings continues to expand. The Zhou Dai Bridge, which links the islands of Zhou Shan and Dai Shan, opened to traffic at the end of 2021, while another bridge leading to Yangshan Port is in the planning stages. These massive projects are beginning to form a giant loop connecting Shanghai, Hangzhou, Ningbo and Zhou Shan, helping invigorate the economic pulse of the Yangtze River Delta. We do not know how many years it took for natural forces to create this archipelago, yet we find ourselves living in a time of awe-inspiring bridges. These magnificent structures span mountains, seas and other natural barriers like horses effortlessly galloping across flat plains. <laughs>